I know it's going to be repeat for some of you because I gave the, this part directly about a couple of months ago. But uh, there are a lot of people in here you know, who have not heard that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be speaking both in English and Punjabi. Because I speak English to explain something. We are going to be talking about the main purpose of the main purpose. We are going to learn the meanings of Sukhani Sahib. In order to understand the meaning, we got to have basic understanding of some grammar rules. Because otherwise, if I explain it, I'm pretty sure, you know, next time I got to go through it again, explain the meaning, you will not understand why that meaning is that way, unless you understand some of the basic rules of grammar. So what I have done is, in this one, first part I'm actually making it just the grammar part. So we'll cover most of it today. You know that Gurbani grammar is different than directly Punjabi. And when you talk about Gurbani grammar, the books they have written by Sarsingh is over 300 pages. By uh, Jiginder Singh Ji, the wrote a book, it's uh, over 800 pages. And I have read about 20 books all together and most of them are around 300 pages, okay? So you can see there are a lot of rules to learn. And I don't comprehend all of them either. When I read it, I understand them, but if I try to apply them, I have to go back and reference those books to see, you know, why is this meaning is this way, okay? So what I was trying to tell you is, the most you can learn is if you are going to just learn some of the basic rules of grammar, I'm pretty sure what I have picked, that is going to give you very good understanding of general, in general, how to interpret Gurbani. But it's not going to make you expert, you still have to go back and directly reference other books. And I will encourage every one of you that both of the books I have written, first one was directly mostly on Uchara. Even if you don't read it, read the second one because it gives you a lot of actually information regarding how should you actually interpret the Gurbani, what are some of the basic tools you need in order to actually interpret Gurbani. Okay? But these rules are I have only picked 15 out of thousands of rules which are going to give you the basic understanding. I'm pretty sure that you know, when we are going to go through the Sukhani Sa, we are going to go by line by line, each book, word by word, and I'll point out where is this rule applying, directly, you know, why this meaning comes out that way. Okay? So, but the major hurdle in there is there are three things that I'm just putting up here. Understanding Gurbani grammar. And especially the last word of each letter of each word. Either it ends up with a mukta or siari or onkar. And they are different than Bindari. So you gotta get used to it, you know, if we, what those are for what's the reasoning behind the, that, and what is the meaning of that particular word before you can actually do the meaning of the term. Second part is, you know, where I see a lot of people when they're actually doing the Girvani <coughs> recitation, they, especially in Sukhmani Sahib, I'm saying, they don't know the difference between Jajja Nusiyari Haha Jay. Jajja hahinu siyari jah. Jajja haha also pronounced as jah. They have different meaning. 
So you got to, whenever you are pronouncing Gurbani, again, I don't have a Because many of us do not have a Sondani in the Kutswal. The Nala, Kapi, the Lord, Kapi, the Lord. Okay? So that's why it's very much important to actually pronounce the word right. And if you pronounce them right, as a matter of fact, and if you pronounce as well as punctuate them right, then you'll be able to understand the Gurbani pretty much. You can make sense out of it. You may not be the expert, like I said, but you'll be able to make a lot of sense out of what you are reading. Then also in Sukhani Sahib, we all have some pre-notions. When we heard hear the word sun, chitta chola, gold pag, that's a sun. Saad pag me kapde pala, the he is you know actually a sun. Brahm Gyani, anybody who claims you know, actually he is Brahm Gyani, we say, yeah, he is Brahm Gyani, you know, because so and so says so, you know, he is Brahm Gyani. In so many times, these words are used, Brahm Gyani, Pars, Pagat, when we are going to go through it, I am going to explain to you what they mean. Are they referring to somebody, specifically, or are they talking about in general time? <coughs> Are those the things, you know, we can become if we learn, you know, what Guru is saying and uh, live our life accordingly? So those are the things that I'm going to be talking about, you know, when we go through the Sukhu Okay, next. So let's start with the basic rules. I have given you two sheets. And believe me, unless you memorize those rules, 15 rules, that's not asking much. I don't want you to read the whole, you know, actually books and understand it, but you got to learn these 15 and understand that. One of the ground rules, you know, actually people have established around here who have asked me to actually give this class is that we are going to go at our pace, pace uh, our pace, not your, you know, your pace, you know, the way you all be teaching. So what I'm going to ask you is, unless you understand the point I'm making, ask it. We are not going to move to the next one because we are not in a hurry. It's going to do the whole summary time. It's going to take a year, six months, three months. I don't know. But it will move according to your pace so that you understand that one. And make sure before you come to class, I'm going to give you some homework, you know, a little bit, not much that you do that much. And the first rule is, homework I'm giving you right now is, make sure that you read these rules and try to understand them. And if you got any question, any time during the next class, come in and ask me, you know, we'll actually go through that, you know, again. And especially when we are going through some of the examples of Sukhunisa, then I'll try to emphasize it so that you can understand those. Okay? Other thing is use of Ankara and Siyari, extensive use in Siri Guru Granth Sahib. Just basically, when you look at it, 1430 pages in Siri Guru Granth Sahib, each page has 19 lines on it. Some of them, you know, have less, you know, whenever you got some lake, etc. But most of them, 19 lines. And each line you will find, you know, anywhere from 14 to 18 words, you know, in each of the lines. Even if you take an average, say that, okay, let's say it's about 16 lines and 114 and other, you are talking about roughly, approximately half a million words in Sri Guru Granth Sahib. So, most of the words in each line, when you look at it, the last letter of that word is going to be either Mukta or with Ankur or with Siyari. If they are different from Punjabi, you can see where the difficulty comes in in understanding the meaning. The word Hukam, there are only two ways you can write it in Punjabi, Hukam and Hukma as a matter of fact, they, they are nasir. In Gurwani, there are Twelve different ways of written, you know, hukam. So the meaning is different. Then Punjabi and from each other. 
you know, the way it is written in Gurmani. So you got to know that. Mahanko has approximately 65,000 words, which, is, which covers all the Gurmani, plus they will talk about Maharaja and these things and all that. If you take all that out, you know, and still, you are talking about at least about 50,000 words which are used within the Gurmani. So building up a vocabulary, that's not an easy task, especially the people who are born and here. And I know that they have struggle going through that. So you have to build up, you build up your vocabulary and try to understand. That doesn't mean you know, that the only thing, but those are the major ones, you know, I just wanted to point out because you got to put in effort to learn how to interpret Gurbani. You know, it's not going to come in and say that now I know the new rules, you know, I can actually understand the Gurbani. Okay. You know, in the letter, last your world day the ends with this, you know, Asihari, uh, Onkar, Yamukta. Kannina mm -hmm. Kunda. There are a lot of words, you know, with Kanna, with Lama. There are minor differences. But from Punjabi, you can pretty much get the meaning out of that one, you know. Kanna, Bihari, all the mid, the seven long Bibles, okay? The rest of them, you can actually pretty much get the same kind of essence out of the, you know, actually interpreting your body. But these are the three which makes it very difficult very to likely to do that. Especially with the last letter. Not in the middle, not in the first, and at the end of the word. Yeah, there are latter hang up words down. Hareek word. And Hareek line the Jitamadasya. If you are talking about five hundred thousand uh, words in each line if there are actually let's say sixteen words, sometimes you can see there are Twelve words like that in that line. So that's how important it is to understand, you know, what that means. Here is something I'm quoting from Biden T. Sanji. He was a great person. He has done a lot of it in non kamai as well as he was a very good scholar. He has written a grammar book also. Lakhantao for Lagamatra. So when I read that book, he wrote something up here, and I'm pretty sure when you read it, that Punjabi is even difficult than it could value. When you read it, you can get essence out of it, but it's very hard to understand what he's saying. I'm going to interpret it for you, you know, actually what he's saying. He's saying that if you look at some piece of jewelry, the value of that jewelry is of the pearls, etc., which are in that jewelry. Not the rest of the stuff. He's saying in Gurbani, Laga Matras are those pearls in the Gurbani. Without that, those Laga Matra, you would not be able to understand what Gurbani is saying without knowing you know, what they mean. So it's that much important, he said, but the greatness of that learning is then you will always come up with a single interpretation of Gurbani, not, you know, here this, this, this way or that will, you know, be a different interpretation. I love this saying, you know, actually he's saying, you know, you've got to actually treat them that way with the respect and the value is in those Naga Matra. Okay? Next. Here I'm saying major differences. There are at least about you know eleven differences I can tell you. There's, those are in, all in my book, you know, I pointed out between Punjabi and you know Gurbani. But here what I'm saying is these fifteen rules that I'm going to be applying which is going to give the most of the things to apply, you know, to interpret Gurbani. I'm saying, related to that one, the major difference is the Ankur Siyari and the Mukta at the end. You got to also understand, I'm not going to be teaching here. You can read other books and most of you already have better background probably than me to say that when you look at some word, you should be able to recognize it. Whether this word is a noun, 
pronoun, adjective, adverb, verb, especially these four are important. If you understand those, these rules that I'm going to give you, they're going to apply to the first three of them and you should be able to actually get most of it directly uh, from your interpretation. Okay? Other difference, you know, is also a major one which I put it in the book, not in here, but you got to actually that. Also, besides, you know, at least Shari and Ankur in Gurmani, this card, you know, actually case sign. Kark chain Punjabi, which can they English with case sign. All it is, if it's a noun, it's a declination of that noun. We have the last word. It could be Siari, it could be Ankur, it could be, you know, without Ankur, it could be the Lama or whatever. Those case then. But it can also have haha added to it in addition to the basic word, or it can be hahinu siari added to it, or hahinu ankur added to it, or nanda or nandinu siari added to it. So it can have those words in it. Just like I'll say santan. So nanda is added. That makes it plural. Okay? Santo. Sasa tata hahinu ankur. Santo. He santo. Banjada hai so that makes also different. But I'm not going to be covering those in here. But when we go through the Gurbani interpretation of Sufni Saab, I'll point out those generically so that you can understand you know, how to do the interpretation. Okay? Now let's come to the gist of it, the 15 rules. I'm going to I'm only talking about nouns, not anything else. Just nouns. Everybody now knows it. Now there's nothing but a name, right? It could be name for the people, it could be name for A or for C or whatever we call it, you know, actually our class is also a noun. But I just actually put down whenever you have something like Nanak word, there's the Kakin Onkar. It is specifically addressing Nanak. This is what Nanak is saying. Nanak. Nanak. There is no other Naga Matra or I mean uh, anything, your preposition or anything. Nanak. Ajmela Kenda. Nanak e Kenda. Ankar Dev Ji da Naan Likhnaega. So you got to put Ankar under. Arjan Dev Ji da Naan Likhnaega. You got to put Ankar. Jethu Ji Ankar Nata. It's going to have a different meaning. It's going to have a different meaning. But if you write it Nanak like this, so whatever you write it in Punjabi without Ankur, it's equivalent to that because it's a name. Confused or question or anything? Because people, last time I gave the class, uh, the feedback I got, some people said, well, we didn't understand exactly what masculine, singular is, and all that. What I'm trying to tell is here is, Nanak, whenever it's a name, it's a masculine name, Ajmel da, not kise kudi da, ya woman da, okay? At that time only you will see the open. Masculine word. Gender that I masculine, jindi that masculine gender haga, you will see the open. So, Sant, Man, Pandit, Nindak, Jokish, we have got. All the masculine words have got. So, you got to recognize the word, what it is, it's a noun. At the same time, you got to recognize it is a, you know, at least a singular word, masculine word. Okay? You did, you mean, I got Nindak, I got word. I know. So, in a matlab ye nindak thilya aega, onkhan aega, in a matlab ek bandiri, male bandiri ho, not female. Kenya Tate, this is a very good point, but Kenya Tate, when you are talking about jano, jita on rab aega, on mata bhi kya, pita bhi kya aega, but whenever we are going to talk about gaar, naam, etc., we will always have onkhan. 
sometimes we generalize that you know they, it will cover both of them par actually je dekhe jaave je lady di gal karni hai ya ta nindkan hundi hai ki as na nindak okay so it is either may or all rules right that's why i'm saying these are general rules which you got and you got to pay very much attention to know that whether it's a singular or a masculine or a, it's a feminine word okay now the picture chalo sorry ਮੈਂ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁਣ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਨੀਚ ਕਹੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਨੀਚ ਕਹੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਹਾਈਲਾਈਟ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਇਹ ਹੈਗੀ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਵੀ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਓਕੇ ਹੁਣ ਅੱਗੇ ਕੁਸ਼ਨ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦਾ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਡ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਹੈਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਕਿ ਮਤਲਬ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਆ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੀ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਵਰਡ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਿਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜਾਂ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਈ ਸ਼ੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ देयर ਆਰ ਵਰਡਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਟੂ ਬੋਥ ਜੈਂਡਰ ਤੇ ਐ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਿਨ ਮਤਲਬ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਸੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕ੍ਰਿਆ ਲੱਗਣੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਵਰਬ ਲੱਗਣੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ that will be according to masculine it is all according to the masculine that's why i said you know the important thing you are going to see it when you are going to interpret the garbani first thing you got to recognize when they sometimes say or it okay where is the word can you go from word and that's my second book is all about you start with that word and then you can actually build up on that what to actually come out with the how to actually interpret the garbani so that's why ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸੱਚੇ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਬੈਠੀ ਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਜੋ ਕੁਲਦੀਪ ਨੇ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨੇ ਉਸੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਉਹ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਉੱਠਦੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਆਉਣੀ ਆ ਯੂ نو ਸੋ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਦਸਰਾ ਬੈਠਾ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੂੰ ਇਦਾਂ ਕਰ ਸੋ ਬਾਤ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਿ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਆ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਜਿਹਨ ਅਕਲੀ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਜਿਹਨ and i know you know even the adults you know who are born in here they are not the same problem jab main apna mazda jab main aaya ke apna punjabi ch dekh ke ye kursi pai hai te kursi pyaar hai nahi kehnde oh ek tarah feminine aa gaya halanke english ch itte oda koi gender da hai nahi jo word de apne punjabi ch ek tarah keh lo gender ho jande ne kehnde hai ke pyaar hai to ye nahi hai ke jivein word ਸੰਤ ਵਰਡ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਸੰਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਤਲਬ ਐਨ ਕਿ ਓਨਲੀ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਿਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਿਨ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਸੰਤ ਦੈਟ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਪਰ ਜਿਹਦਾ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੰਤ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਨਾ ਵਰਡ ਸਕੇ ਅਸਲੀ ਤਾਂ ਸੰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਦਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਡਿਸਟਿੰਗਿਸ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਜਨਰਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮਨ ਸਾਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੰਤ ਦਾ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਨੇ ਵਰਡ ਕਿਤੇ ਵੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਉਹ ਉਸ ਵਰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਪਰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਬੇ ਕਿਹਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਤਾ ਨੂੰ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਇਆ ਜੇ ਹੋਇਆ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਜਦ ਮੈਂ ਦੂਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਗੈਰਿੰਗ ਲਰ ਹਾਂਗਨ ਕਵਰ ਹੀ ਚ ਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੋ ਯੂ ਦਿਸ ਨੋ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਗੁਰ ਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਕੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈ ਓਕੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹੋਰ ਸਵਾਲ ਨਾਨਕ ਨੀਚ ਕਹੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਕਿਉਂ ਆਕਰੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਦੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਕੋ ਬਸ ਪਿਸ ਪੇ ਜੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਦੇ ਥੱਲੇ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਹਾਂ ਬਣ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਆ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਨੇਮ ਆ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਓਕੇ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਮ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਦੈਟ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਹੈਲਪ ਮੀ
ਪੰਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੱਸਣੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਮੈਮੋਰਾਈਜ਼ ਦੋ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਰੈਕੋਗਨਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਰੀਡਿੰਗ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਰੂਲ ਵੈਨਵਰ ਦੇ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਔਂਕਰ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਨਾਉਨ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਰ ਨਾਟ ਵਰਡ ਸੋ ਵਾਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਹੈਪਨ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਪਲੂਰਲ ओके हुक्मी हुक्म चलाए राह हाहे दे चले ओ पड़े ओके ओ एक राह है वाहे गुरु जेड़ा चला रहा है जिदा सारी कोई ऐसा नहीं हो भाई थोड़े ले कुछ हो रहा मेरे ले कुछ हो रहा काजी होर चीज ले कोई कोई जुतियां है क्या नहीं ओ एक ही तरीके दे ना सारी कुछ जो कुछ कर रहा है का ना ओदा असूल ओ ही है सारे ले ओ सारीयां चीजें ओ ही पेंदा है पर जिथे ओ रह गया अंकल ਉਥੇ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੋਆ ਆ ਗੇਵ ਦਾ ਲਿਵ ਤਾਤ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਰਾਹ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਪੜਨਾ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਪੜਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕਹੂੰਗਾ ਲਿਵ ਤਾਤ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਰਾਹ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਲੂਰਲ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਦੋ ਰਾਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਲਿਵ ਵਾਲਾ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਤ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਇਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਵਰਡ ਲਿਵ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਹੈਗਾ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਦਾ ਰਸਤਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਤਾਤ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਨਮੁਖ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡਲੀ ਰਸਤਾ ਆ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਰਸਤਾ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਵਰਲਡਲੀ ਰਸਤਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਹੈਗਾ ਟੂ ਲਿਵ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਦੋ ਰਾਹ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਗੁਰਮਾਇਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਗੁਰਮਖ ਦਾ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਦੋ ਆ ਦੈਟਸ ਇਟ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਜੰਤ ਪਾਏ ਦੋਏ ਪੰਦੀ ਦੋਏ ਰਾਹ ਚਲਾਏ ਸਿਰਫ ਦੋ ਰਾਹ ਹੈ ਤੁਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਦੋ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਇੱਕ ਗੁਰਮਖ so that's what it says i am not going to go into much detail but whenever is pluro it is sat te thalle ho kar le gaya pluro sometime they had the nana that still pluro and sat te thalle ho kar gaya that became the pluro so any time in noun masculine noun becomes pluro then the onkar is the first rule. okay next one i'm going to keep on building like this i leave the first one over there singular feminine word de mera sharir body char torna khe apan jab ji saab de vich kar to hold a meeting you know ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਵਰਡ ਹੈਗੇ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਨਾਟ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਰ ਦੇ ਤੁਮ ਨੂੰ ਔਂਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਸੋ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੈਣਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਵੈਦਰ ਇਸ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਔਰ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਰ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਨੋ ਬੀ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਮੇਬੀ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਪਲੂਰ ਔਰ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਬਿਲਡ ਅਪ ਯੂਰ ਵੋਕੈਬਲਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਥੀਸ ਇਨ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਦੇਅਰ ਕਲਾਸਿਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਜੇ ਕੇ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਦੈਟਸ ਅ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਵਰਡ ਜੇ ਦੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆ ਸਰੀਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਐ ਇਸ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਵਰਡ ਓਕੇ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਕਮ ਅਕਰਾਸ ਐਨੀ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਥੈਟ ਲਿਸਟ ਆਊਟ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਟ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਰ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਰ ਮੈਸਕਿਊਲਨ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਵੀ ਸਪੋਸ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਇਟ ਅਗੇਨ ਬਟ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਮੈਟਰ ਫੈਕਟ when you actually look at it even mahan ko you know they typically put down you know if it's a sangya then put down you know if it's a feminine word or not you know there is some indication in there just like in dictionary you know most of the time you will see it so there are you know actually things like that you know, where they do that I but that i don't specifically us, huh? it would be helpful for us to like reference the book those of us that don't know okay. innately which words are the yeah, all that you actually see you know if i i can see something but uh, right now i can't at least say which one is it you know so, okay. and the monkish puts like a how does it tell you as a feminine or masculine word what is what does it say like in an english dictionary would say ephraim or whatever but yeah maybe the monkish what is how does it say that the same menu i have hard time sometimes understanding you know in the mandosh how is it signifying if it's a masculine or feminine word ona rehna jada mun re kai bar jab jithe word hove 
ਉਹਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਨਾਉ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸੰਗਿਆ ਸੱਸਾ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਚਿੱਟੀ ਪਾ ਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਜਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਨ ਡਿਕਸ਼ਨਰੀ ਦੇ ਗਾਰ ਦੋ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਦਾ ਫਲਾਂਟ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਵਰਤ ਤੇ ਮੀਨ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਇਕਲੀ ਆ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਆਲਾ ਜਾ ਬੜਾ ਨਾ 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 ਉਹ ਵੀ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਲਿਵ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਆਮ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਆਈ ਗਾਟ ਟੂ ਚੈੱਕ ਇਟ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਸੋ ਬਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਅ ਮੇਜਰ ਹਾਰਡ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਟੂ ਐਕਲੀ ਡੂ ਦੈਟ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਆਨ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਨਲੈਸ ਯੂ ਬਿਲਡ ਅਪ ਦੈਟ ਵੋਕੈਬਲਰੀ ਆਨ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦਾ ਕਲਾਸਿਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਾਰ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਦੇ ਨਿਮਾਨੀ ਦੇ ਨਿਮਾਨੀ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਰ ਵਰਡ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਨਿਮਾਨਾ ਬਣ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਵਰਡ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਐਡਜੈਕਟਿਵ ਤੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਕੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਟੋਲ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਹੀਅਰ ਲਾਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਬੈਠੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਜਦ ਪਾਠ ਕਰ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਆ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਲਿਵਰ ਵਾਜ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਰੇ ਵਿਚਾਰਿਆ ਵਿਚਾਰੀ ਆ ਵਿਚਾਰੀ ਕਰ ਲਈ ਆ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਮਾਰੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਦੇ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਇਟ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਥੋਰੋ ਯੂਸ ਆਫ ਗ੍ਰਾਮਰ ਇਨ ਹੀਅਰ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਹਾਊ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੇਟ ਇਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਦੈਟ ਵੇ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੀ ਹੋ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਸੀ ਦੈਟ ਥਿੰਗ that's going to be the most significant thing for us you might be on a list of words to memorize it but in context is probably going to figure out because if the verb sounds plural you'll know that it was a plural word that uncle wasn't there and if the adjective sounds feminine right that's the whole thing because try to memorize it like that's, I think for me knowing that they was a noun because he said was a noun versus they as a gift as a verb right, right? right. Like that, those are the things yeah. that are going to be difficult. Then I put a lot of that as a noun versus a verb. That's why whenever you are looking at any word, you know, a lot of people say, you know, oh, this is shove the word out. Yeah, break that in, make that in, make that in, make that in. But why in the way to kalla kalla word, you know, you got to look at the context that's used there. Oh, you know, generalize karke karte ya gaya. they get stuck on certain thing you know actually and they said this is the sikhi siddhant you know this is the way sikhi should be operated wo kahe ke shabd ka word hi aa shabd word jab ki apna anand sahab ek mein lag raha hai 8 tarike na likha hai you know so you got to actually look at the context it's used in and then interpret it you know what it means okay next got the first two rules right the reason i put the keep on putting it like i said you know sometimes you are going to see the conflict you know unless you know here it was you know actually masculine word on kadarga here you have to know it's a feminine word that's why there is no awkward otherwise there will be plural ma'am that's no third one complicit or explicit preposition is there when you don't have awkward with the non okay implicit imply gur prasad asi pehla jhur karde mool matar to guru di meher rahi guru di guru de prasad guru di meher okay di da ya dal jo so dar go with gur nahi ta de bhai gur de thalle bhi onkad hona chahida si ka and it tells me they are connected guru de prasad that's why we always say that gur prasad together okay that's simplicity simple example mat vich ratan jawar mani je ik gur ki sikh suni on gur ki this is expressed ki is written in there so onkar jada hai ga ਉੜ ਗਿਆ ਸੋ ਨਾ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਯੂ نو ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ देयर इज अ ਪ੍ਰੈਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਕੰਪਲੀਸਟ ਔਰ ਐਕਸਪਲੀਸਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਓਕੇ ਐਨੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਔਨ ਦੈਟ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਾਂ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਾਂ ਪ੍ਰੈਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਰਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ 
or it could be implied without genetically. So the point I'm making is whenever you see there, see there is no anchor, when you are interpreting it, you got to see that, well, is it a plural? Is it a feminine word? Is, it, is there a preposition? So you go through all those things, you know, actually if it's implicit. But if it's explicit, then I don't have to, you know, all I know is the you know, uncle went off, you know, because it is already, you know, actually explicit in there. Okay? I make anybody that I have explicitly the care of the Haga, for the ID of the Haga, for no song. Okay? Chill. Next one, Vokeda. The Daga. The Jamil, a Dara. Oh, Jamil, come here. Nanak, for the pause on a child of the man, permission. Nanak, Pata Salam Gas. Okay? Hey, Nanak, Pata de Mandem Sadai Keda Renda. Vagas, long again, Keda. Sada Keda Renda. Or they would take part of Nanak Pata Salam Gas, they own Punjabi Beteko. नारे पाता हूँ जिके तो ना पता वे गर्भाणी दे वेच वे प्रिंसिपल की है के गर्भाणी दे सुधार की है के या तो उन्हें क्या ना नारे के पाता नारे के दे पाता क्योंकि अब ते प्रापोजिशन थी उन्हें नार दे लाके नारे के दे पाता सदा बगा नारे के दे पाता दे सदा खिड़ा रहेगा पर तब ना वो इट डन गो वे द Principles of Sikhism. There is no part of Guru Nanak Dev. One of the Saran Pati Karna Aya Pramesh Dev, Puja Pramesh Dev. So, one of the Saapata Lagda Aya Nanak Dev Aya Ga, Part of Nanak Dev Nei, Nanak Kya Raya, Aya Part of Sada Amgaas. Jede Vahe Guru Dev Part of Dev Aya, Una Dev Sada Amgaas Jede Aya Ga Khede Jede. Or does it also mean like someone else is telling Nanak Bhaktan Sadavira? So someone else is telling Nanak, does that does it mean that? But but Nanak Karmani. No other good body is going to tell to Nanak what to do because Nanak is saying That's whatever right. he got the body but from why. In his example that would be bad. But that in Punjabi if you look at Punjabi, like, just like I gave the first example of Nanak Paita, Vipaita, Nanak, it can also, you can in, in Punjabi interpret, but I, not in Gurman. Actually, that, like an English example for like us, I think, <laughs> um, the sentence, I don't know John. If you're talking to John, you say, I don't know John. That's right. one sentence, that's vocative case because you, you are invoking John and what you're saying. But if you say, I don't know John, I mean, I don't know that guy John, yeah. that's not vocative. موسیقی but it uh, you will never find that kind of it. Nanak de sali okad hoga, it will go with the principles of genetically sick head of Nanak Okay. I'll show you examples later on, you know. As a matter of fact, I already gave you one example when I just say that. Nanak nich kahe vichar. Uthe yeh ni kana Nanak nich kahe vichar. Oh gya, hey Nanak, koi nich vichar ke yaa kahe riya hai ga. That's not. Guru Nanak Dev Ji kaya raha ya, he has said adjective, Nanak Neej, doha de thale hong kadeya. Nanak apne aapnu Neej kaya raha hai ga, Neej Nanak aha cheej vichar ke kaya raha. Kyunki apne aapnu unha de bhoat kuch kamla bhi kaya, sara kuch haram khor bhi kaya, apne aapnu gaha bhi kati hui ya, Guru Nanak Dev Ji ne. Kyunki that's the part of his humility, how he presented everything. Okay? Good man. Ready to move to next point? Next time you will all know all these, right? By memory. Last rule. Compound words. 
Ram Nam. You should never say Ram, the Nam with the rest of the sentence. Ram Nam always will come in together. Ram Nam. Because when we are talking about actually we are talking about Gurmantar, you know, and we are really talking about Vahiguru. Okay? So it always comes in right. So, as a matter of fact, you should make a note or something, you know, whenever it comes in, you will always pronounce it. Ram Nam Har Kirat Gaya Kar Chanan Mag Dikhaya. So, Ram Nam Jada Haga. And it should not be separated from Ram Nam Har Kirat. Jada Vahe Guru Di Hari Kirat Deri Hagiya Na, Kirat Gaya Hagiya. Karchanan Mahdikar, those kirti ne, those praises of God have actually given up, enlightened us and showed us the path. Okay. Can you mention some other examples of that? Uh, not often, you know, not, but I'll, there are many examples in the Gurbani Deva Chichate on the Hagi. Dujya Bhatta Maa Evi Konga. And th this rule, you know, actually I added later on, you know, after I reread the book of, you know, actually by uh, Rakti Sengi. And I like that idea, you know, because it makes me, ha helps me a lot, you know, whenever I'm putting the comments and media, you know, in my latest effort, you know, what I'm doing. Ode vich menu hana, eta lagam. I can easily say, Ram da naam, daavi patsada ke okay, I can say that there was a, Implicit, you know, actually, uh, preposition. It will end, but that will not say that we, I'm talking about why you know, actually per se. But Ram Nam, either I can remember it that way, or I can say that they always are saying why Guru. Why Guru di Galpo Re Hagiya. So Guru Matar di Galpo Re Hagiya. So that's why. You said it first word. You first go to the First word, Ram is the first okay. word, and Ram is Thank the second word. So, what are you In case you know. So, that you will see Ram, Nam, Mamme, the Thale, Onkar, Hani, or Ram, Mamme, the Thale, Nar, Siari, Hagi. There are other rules where what happens to Siari or you know, actually Mukta, etc. But they should always be together. This is irrespective of singular, plural, masculine, feminine. Huh? Wherever a compound word comes, you you put use this irrespective of if it's a plural, singular, masculine, feminine. Yeah, singular is okay. Two singular Ram bi, the Nam bi. What I'm saying is this doesn't make it plural because there is no anchor because it's one single word now. The English is a compound word katamda, juryamda. It is a compound word is separate. Separately. There are many words like that, but I can't think of, you know, I can just call it. Can you say that what Paul is asking for is an example? Harka Naam, Naam De Thale Onkar, Harka Naam Jab Ho Sukhiya, Gurmukh Naam. He was looking for an example. Gurmukh Naam. No, but what you're saying is that when you're saying Ram Naam, you're saying that there's another example. 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 Instead of Ram Nam, or the, what, what's another example? Har Nam, Sumi Ho Gya, Ram Nam, or Dikna Pihan. Har Nam, Jada Aga Na, Eh, Thoda Jaya, we got to be careful. Okay? Kai Bari Har Likha Ho Gya, Toh, Tuzi, Mai, Oh, Kabra Ka Ne Aga, Hey, Hari, Nam Da Aam Da Aga. So, Es Kar Ke, I don't want to get into that. All our talking about, Jitthe Kathe Aonde Aga Ya, Onkar Laga Ya, Singular Ya, that's all you got to remember in here. Okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. On a, just the one slide up here. It is meant to say I got the pronouns that I am there, they follow the same kind of rule. What do I create have nouns? Okay? This slide is a little bit early because you have not learned about you know, Mukta and you know, Mukta you have since learned, learned Ankur Devi, but Siyari Wala Ni. But I just wanted to give this example someplace just to make a point. Don't worry about pronouns, I'm not giving you all the rules that I've got. I'm going to cover one, you know, which is specifically, you know, actually makes a lot of sense to me saying that how 
you see genetically pronounced like a, a. These are definite and pronounced, and how they can be singular, masculine, or feminine, or plural, because we already covered, you know, plural, feminine, and other. Example, pehle ne, nae buda, nae bala. We are talking about a mind, actually. They sari to padni ho gaye. Nae buda apna, the nae ye niya nae. You know, a buda. Singular, masculine, Buddha. Je Buddhi hundi, the feminine one si ho to pata na jana si vetti ko na ki na. Na e bala, bala bi, balak, masculine word hai ga. So is karke dukha de thande naun ko lagga. Okay. Uh, how would you pronounce the uh, all the three words? Eh eh eh. How how will you pronounce all of them? All okay. three of them. You got to pronounce A, just like a noun. Noun is the same thing, but I am going to actually just uh, make a point on that one. There are three schools of thought, you know, at least in pronunciation. One says, if you are a person, you say, if you are a person, 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 if you are a जेड़े हैं कि जब मिशनरी कॉलेज वाले हैं कि यार वो तो हम कह रहे हैं कि नहीं ऑल इट आईडेंटिफाइड दें वैसे से सिंगुलर मैस्कुलर और फैमिलियन वर्ड और इसे प्लूरल वर्ड दैट ऑल वी हैव द सेम प्रनासियेशन क्योंकि पंजाबी में इतना ज़्यादा थी बोलते हैं कि यार जेड़ी अति समझाते हैं कि उधर � पता लग जाता है कि वे आर टॉकिंग बोर्ड के बारे में दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग यू नो सो सम छेदी आ गया तो तीजे थॉट जेडी है कि वो पाइंट है कि अंदर से जो बोला दी है कि यार वो कहते हैं कि यार जेन पाना है कहाँ ना वो सुखम होना चाहिए आएगा इस इस जब तक आने जब आने उन्होंने ट्रांकेट कार लगे ने मार पर कहते जब तो सिर्फ पार्ट करते हैं क्या? You would not be able to actually say that one and you would not be able to distinguish whether you just did not pronounce it or did pronounce. So I like his interpretation because if you are doing it by yourself, you know to understand it, keep that in mind. इतने ओंकर आएगा इतने नहीं तो ऐस करके आएगा आदेश से तो रीजन भी आएगा तो तो गिव्स यू द मीनिंग बैक are you missing also saying that there is some maybe artistic freedom when you give them? No, but what he's saying is what happens is the danger in doing that one is people start actually pronouncing this one as Hoda, this one as a La, and we should not do that. We should not do that. Yeah, but they are different. But the whole idea is rules the same no matter how you pronounce it. These rules are still applied. I have a question because I have a question before. 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 How you should be actually pronouncing these words. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Now the other example. This is the other one. Shal Nagan se ho meri tutan ga hoi Gur keha e juthi to hi Shal Nagan Nagan ho ji sapni Sarpen female Okay Se ho meri tutan hoi Gur keha e Jadi e Shal Nagan kya hai Refine to Maya Maya no Nagan kya hai Be shanti hai kya chi He deceived you Okay, so वो कहते हैं कि उठिया, ये false या, ये तो भी या, ये छाल करने वाली है कि या, इस करके मैं उन्हें तोड़ दिया है कि या, so ये तो पता लग गया, but this word जिधर है क्या ना, ये refer कर दिया है क्या ना कर दूँ, ये, okay, feminine word, okay, तीजा ए हम प्लूरल 
ਕਿਤਿਆਂ ਦੂ ਭੋਗ ਸਦ ਮਾਰ ਬਾਹਰ ਰੋ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਾ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਤਨੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਗੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਦਾਤ ਤੇਰੀ ਦਾਤਾ ਹੁਣ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਰਡ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿਹਨੂੰ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਦੁਖ ਭੂਖ ਭੂਖ ਸਦ ਮਾਰ ਤਿੰਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਤਿਆਂ ਕਈਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੁੱਖ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਕਈਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਭੁੱਖ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾ ਗਈ ਆ ਕਈਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਾਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਕਈਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਤਿੰਨੇ ਹੀ ਪੈਂਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਆ ਲਈ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਨਾ ਦੂਨ ਕੋ ਸਦ ਮਾਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਦਾਤ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਕੰਫਿਊਜ਼ ਹੋਏ ਹੋਣੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਦਾਤ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਜੇ ਕੁਝ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਦਾਤ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਹੋ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਬਣਾ ਸੁਦਾ ਦਾ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਜੇ ਸੋਨੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਸੋਨਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਹਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਗਹਿਣਾ ਬਣਾਉਣਾ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਬਣਾਉਣਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅੱਗ ਦੇ ਥੱਲੇ ਐਦਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਸਹਾਰਨਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਮੈਲ ਕੱਢਣੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਵਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਾ ਜਦ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਦਾ ਪਾਰ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਦੁੱਖ ਦਾਰੂ ਸੁਖ ਰੋਗ ਤੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਦੁੱਖ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਦਾਰੂ ਬਣ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਲੀ ਸੇਮ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਦਾਤ ਆ ਅਸਲੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗ ਪੈਂਦੇ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਪਰ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਕਰਮ ਕੀਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਜਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੱਥ ਜਨਮ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੋੜਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਇਹ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੀ ਪੈਣਾ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਤੇਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੀਵਾ ਬਲਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲਾਂ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂ ਤੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਚੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਉਹ ਬਾਲਣੇ ਪੈਣੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਓਕੇ ਇਹ ਸੋਣ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਰੂਪ ਬੜਾ ਸੁਖਾ ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਕੰਪਲਾ ਤੇ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਦਿਸ ਵਾਸ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਟੂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਓਕੇ 